This explosion of growth is a challenge. It's a balancing act to make sure people have what they need without wiping out the character and unique charm of our Colorado communities. Tonight we're going to take a deeper look at development in our state and focus on two cases. CB Cotton will look at a multi-million dollar project getting the go-ahead in Glendale, and this is going to add a brand new entertainment complex to the area. First, Sloan Dickey is catching up with the owner of a well-established business in Wheat Ridge, ready to sell and hoping he can find a buyer who respects the history and the needs of his neighborhood. Things are going to change. It's just the way it is, you know. You know, there's no bowling alleys left. I mean, this is a bowling alley. He bowled his first 300 here. Gosh, I shot my first... 300 game on lanes 9 and 10 when I was 12. And broke a record in lanes 1 and 2. And I was the youngest person in the country to ever shoot a sanctioned 300 game. In fact, the Wheat Ridge lanes have been a part of David Hanscom's life since before he was born. My dad paid $120,000 for this place when he bought it in 64. But the time spent since then has been priceless. I know all these people around here. I've been here my whole life. I know, you know, there's, it's a very personal thing. Since 1999, these lanes are now his. I mean, everybody's grandparents bowled here, their parents bowled here, they bowl here, their kids bowl here. A staple in Wheat Ridge. I, don't, I feel like I never left the place, really. It's just been here forever. But there's sayings about things that last forever. Things come to an end. I mean, it's just, it's time. The lanes are now up for sale. I'm sure it'd probably be apartments at some point. 38th Avenue, like many main streets across Colorado, has seen new development as more people move to the area. This land is now valued in the range of $4 million. Some of the growth has been good, some of it, I don't know. And as time goes on. I can understand that. People don't want things to change. Keeping a bowling alley looking like this gets harder and harder to do. The city's trying to grow, but there's a lot of, a lot of old timers holding it back. Hanscom hopes that whoever buys the place will keep the lanes around for a little while. The place means a lot to me, but it's also just like my dad always said, you know, everything comes to an end. Nothing lasts forever. You know, everything ends at some point. Sloan Dickey, Denver 7.